Hi, in this video, we'll be talking about the first method of solving quadratics, which is factorizing. So this obviously involves factorizing the quadratic expression. If you're unsure about factorizing, go see the video above. So let's say, for example, we have x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals 0. So by using factorizing, we will factorize the quadratic expression x squared plus 6x plus 8. So we have to find two numbers that multiply us to give us 8 and add up to give us 6. We can see that these numbers are 2 and 4. So factorizing x squared plus 6x plus 8 will give us x plus 2 x plus 4 equals 0. So what we have here is that we have two numbers multiplied together and the result has to be 0. This means that either the first number is 0 or the second number is 0 because 0 multiplied by any other number is 0 or some number multiplied by 0 will always give us 0. So this means that either x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 4 is equal to 0. So for the first case is when x plus 2 equals 0, this means that x is equals to negative 2. For the second case, we have x plus 4 equals to 0. This means that x is equals to negative 4. So our answers are x equals negative 2 and x equals to negative 4. So we have two answers here. So in other words, when x is equals to negative 2 or when x is equals to negative 4, x squared plus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. So we can check this by substituting in x equals negative 2 into our quadratic expression of x squared plus 6x plus 8. So we have negative 2 squared plus 6 times by negative 2 plus 8. So negative 2 squared is 4 because negative 2 times by negative 2 is 4. 4. And we have 6 times negative 2, which will give us negative 12, and we have plus 8. So we can see that 4 minus 12 plus 8 is equal to 0, which means that our answer is correct. So similarly, we can substitute in x equals negative 4 into x squared plus 6x plus 8, and we should get the result of 0. Let's, let's try another example. So we have x squared minus 6x minus 16 equals to 0. So we have to factorize the left hand side, which means we have to factorize x squared minus 6x minus 16, which means we have to find two different numbers that multiply to give us negative 16 and add up to give us negative 6. So we can see that if we have negative 8 and 2, we can see that negative 8 times by 2 gives us negative 16 and negative 8 plus 2 gives us negative 6. So therefore, x squared minus 6x minus 16 factorized will give us x minus 8 multiplied by x plus 2, which is equal to 0. So we have two different brackets here, and either the first number is equal to 0 or the second number is equal to 0. So when the first bracket is equal to 0, in other words, x minus 8 is equal to 0, x is equal to 8, and when x plus 2 is equal to 0, that is when x is equal to negative 2. So our two answers are negative 2 and 8. Our next example is x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. So we have to factorize this quadratic expression. So we have to find two numbers that multiply together to give us 4 and two numbers that add up to give us 4. So we can see that these numbers have to be 2 and 2 because 2 times 2 gives us 4 and 2 plus 2 add up together to give us 4. So therefore we can write this as x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2 equals to 0. So for those of you who might have recognized that this is a perfect square. So we can also write this as x plus 2 squared equals to 0. So we know that some number squared is equal to 0. So which means that that some number has to be 0. Which means x plus 2 
is equal to 0, which means x is equal to negative 2. For this case, we only have one single answer comparing to our previous examples where we have two different answers. This is because this is a perfect square and we have the same bracket twice. We can also solve this using a different method. From the equation x plus 2 squared equal to 0, we can take the square root of both sides, which would give us x plus 2 equals 0. And we can easily see that if we minus 2 from both sides, we also get x equals to negative 2. However, you have to be very careful with square rooting both sides. So whenever you square root, you need a plus minus sign, but since we have equal to 0, plus 0 and minus 0 is the same thing, so we, have, we can ignore the plus minus sign. When we are doing completing a square to solve quadratics, we will see the importance of this plus minus.